Award recipients from Starmont, Reese Evans. team's overall performance tonight? Absolutely. Um, we played very good. This is yeah. the best we've played all season yeah. by far. We knew we were going up against Starmont and obviously they're ranked fourth. They're so, so scrappy. They Touch are everything. In practice we just we worked on defense hardcore and we were just going after everything and we were completely prepared for today. We knew what we had to do and we got it done so. And then for you Zoe, kind of talk about the offense performance tonight. I'm sure you let in kills. I haven't seen a stat sheet yet. But um, we just train all season for this moment, so I don't really know. I'm pretty it, proud of it. Yeah, what do you think was kind of the turning point in the match? Obviously, they came out and took the first one. Yeah, I think that just kind of got our head in the game, like, this is real. We need to push, like, right now. Yeah. I can remember my freshman year, they beat us in the regional final. So I think there was, like, yeah, a little there bit was a little of, grit like, there. yeah, so. we just wanted to beat them really bad. And yeah. we knew it took a lot, but we did it. And then now you guys go on and you'll face Janesville. Yes. Yeah. Um, yep. You guys took a set from them in yep. the normal regular season yeah. conference match. So kind of talk about what you're looking forward to, to tomorrow night. Um, we have to have a strong block for sure because they are very sure. offensive. They're very aggressive. Mm -hmm. but they we touch also everything, to, get everything up. We have to be aggressive back to them and find their open spots because their defense is really good too. Yeah. And then what are you guys looking forward to for the rest of the state tournament? Just um, bonding with the team, yeah. I think, and just enjoying just getting it done, you know? this tournament. Yeah. Just being there with everyone. So start off with the team's overall performance tonight against Starmont. I think every single person on the team performed up to their potential, and they just they were excited, they played really well, and worked really well together. And then Starmont came out and took that first set, so kind of what was your message to the team between that set and the second set? We didn't play up to our full potential in the first game, and so telling them that, reassuring them, and they've practiced so hard, and so just helping build their confidence to play up to their potential was key. And then what do you think was kind of the turning point of the match where you guys kind of settled in and kind of realized you guys could potentially win the whole thing? Once our first ball kills got set in place, we really focused on um, once every single opportunity we had with that ball, we wanted to put it away, find that open spot on the court, and once we'd solidified that, we knew we had it from there. And then you guys came in as the fifth seed. It was somewhat of an upset. You guys took down the fourth seed. So kind of just talk about kind of what went into this, the week of preparation, and 
all of that sort of stuff. At this level, every single team you come against is great, and seedings don't always mean everything. So upsetting, we weren't surprised, and um, we did have to work for it, absolutely. They fought up until the end, and at this point in time, when that trophy and that hardware is in sight, every single person's gonna give it their all, and they're gonna all have that fight within them. And then you guys will face Jeansville tomorrow night in the semifinal match. So what are you looking forward to in that match, and maybe some keys to winning the match? Well, we've already played them before. We've played them two times, actually. Um, and we've, got, we've taken a set from them, so we know what it takes. We know that we're capable of it. But continuing to be as aggressive as we can, shut down their main hitters, and uh, play our game. Show them what T-Town Volleyball is about.